Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here on how to root Android 4.3 for your Nexus 4. I've been getting loads of questions on how to do it and some people have been having some problems. So I thought I'd make a tutorial video on how to do that. And yeah, as always, all the links are included in the description. I will assume you use the factory image here to actually flash Android 4.3. So I'm going to assume you use my guide, which means right now you probably don't have a custom recovery or anything. You're probably completely stock. So that's what I'm going to assume. I'll show you exactly how to get a custom recovery and eventually how to get root. So yeah, you can see right now my Nexus 4 doesn't have root. So you can see right there, I will be going through this with you step by step. No root access. So yeah, let's go ahead and get root. I will also assume that you do have the Android SDK and you do have the Google USB drivers. If you don't, just Google those two things. It's pretty much the first link that pops up. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it. As always, all the links are in the description, but I'll just show you what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to search TWRP, go to the Team Win project right here. TWRP for your device in the right hand corner. Just search Nexus 4. There we go, TWRP for the Nexus 4. Scroll down, we actually want the recovery image method here. So you don't want this one, this will give you the Goo Manager, that sucks. We want this method, download the newest image file. Click that and I downloaded the 2.6.001. This is the latest version, so you may as well get the latest version. Once you've got that, you'll end up with this. Here it is, this is the recovery image. Now, this file name is pretty long, so I'm just gonna actually uh, rename this to TWRP. And yeah, we'll leave that there for now. This is root, and I'll put the links in the description. I'm not gonna load up a website and show you how to get that. Just go ahead and download this zip file from my description. It has to be this version of the root, otherwise it won't work on Android 4.3. Once you've got that, go ahead and plug in your Nexus phone to your computer while it's still on because connect it as a media device. You can see it pops up here. Look how clean my internal storage is, so nice. Go to downloads and copy over the root file. So we're just gonna put this in the download file. That's it, that's all you need to do there. Now leave it connected but go ahead and get into fast boot mode. So all you have to do is hold the power button, turn your device off here. You can see it's powering off. Taking some time. Once it powers off, you need to get into the bootloader mode. And to do that, you just hold down and power and you should see the bootloader fast boot mode. There it is, that's what you're looking for. That's the screen you need right there. So once you're there, you need to go ahead and navigate to your SDK, Android SDK. So mine's in my documents, Android SDK. Head into SDK, platform tools. And this is where you need to drag twrp.image into. Once you've done that, you can either copy and paste CMD, just type in search CMD here, copy and paste that into there, or you can open that and navigate using the change directory to this folder. I just find it easier to copy and paste it. Open it up and firstly just type fastboot devices. Make sure your device is connected in fastboot mode. If you see something like this, then it is connected in fastboot mode. The next thing you'll need to do is this. And you need to copy this exactly, so make sure you get this right. Fastboot flash recovery. Whoops, I can't really see it. Never mind, doesn't matter. Fastboot flash recovery, and then you need the, the name. So that's why I renamed it, just to make it easier. So twrp.image. Boom, sending recovery, it's done. So that's as easy as it is to uh, install a custom recovery. We're gonna unplug this now because we don't even need it. We actually don't need the computer anymore. We're gonna press the volume down here until we get to recovery mode. Press the power button and it should load up TWRP right now. If everything's gone right, it should load it up. There it is, we're getting into team win. Okay, so once you're into Team Win, you need to go to Install. Install and then navigate in your internal storage to where you put that file that I told you to put on that super user SU zip. So I put it in my downloads. And there you can see it. One Version 1.44 asks if you want to flash it. Confirm to flash. Boom, it's flashing. Successful. Reboot, that's as simple as it is guys. Rooting a Nexus device is just so easy, it's it's just crazy. So we're just gonna test it right now, so we'll wait for it to reboot. While it's rebooting, I'll just go ahead and close this stuff. You don't actually need this in here anymore, so you might as well delete that. No problems, and we're still waiting for it to boot up. 
Android is upgrading and done. So what you'll actually notice is if you go into the app drawer, let me just find this, you'll notice a new app called Super User SU. You can see that right there. Hopefully you can see that. That's your root. So that's it. You should now have root. So we're going to jump into root checker here and verify root access. You can see you've granted, you, you need the prompt, you need to grant that permissions. And boom, hopefully that says, yep, yeah, congratulations, your device is rooted. You're now good to go. You can use Titanium Backup and all that stuff. By the way, if you want to use Titanium Backup on Android 4.3, you have to change the backup folder lo location. I'll put the different location you need to make it work in the description. So make sure you do that if you need Titanium Backup. But that's as simple as it is, guys. That is root on Android 4.3. Peace out.